Hello everyone, this is a question from exercise 12.3 second question, chapter E is ratio and proportional of class 6. The question is, Ekta earns rupees 3000 in 10 days, how much will she earn in 30 days? So here we have to use unitary method, we have given how much she is earning in 10 days. So 10 days cost is like she is earning rupees 3000. So how to find out for 30 days? So what we're going to do, we're going to find out for one day, how much she's earning in a one day. Once we get for one day, we can easily find out for 30 days. We have to just multiply it. But how to find out the cost for one day, how much she's earning in one day. We know that from the question itself, they have given 10 days, like in 10 days, she's earning rupees 3000, right? And here we have to find out for one day. And here I have 10. So I'm going to send this 10 to other side. So here day will become... This a day means it's one day is equal to rupees 3000 divided by 10 which will be nothing but 300 yeah so she's earning 300 rupees in one day so i hope it's clear why we're dividing and which number we're dividing it's very simple they have given 10 days is equal to rupees 3000 send the 10 to other side like you have learned the transpose method right so we 10 is like in multiplication right so when you transpose this it goes to division so it's divided I hope it's clear. This is just explanation. I will write down the answer now. So what is given here? They have given money earned money earned by Ekta in 10 days is equal to rupees 3000 it's given in the question now we have to find out for the one day how much money she's earning in one one day so money earned in one day will be equal to i hope it's clear why we're dividing i explained in the beginning so it's 3000 divided by 10 you can cancel this in three table like uh, like so in, in 10 table 10 ones are and 10 threes are 30 and we have two zeros right so zero and zero so we'll get 300 so rupees 300 so this is a cancellation if you want you can divide the number so in one day she's earning 300 rupees now we have to find out for the 30 days so for 30 days it will be 30 into 300 therefore money earned in 30 days will be 30 multiplied by 30 multiplied by rupees 300 so multiply them so 3 3 is a 9 and then we have followed by 2 like 3 zeros total so we'll get 9000 so in 30 days she's earning 9000 rupees that's it I hope this question is clear. In case you have further questions or doubts, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.